Subria keratosis. Have you ever come across someone suffering from a skin condition called subria keratosis? The irritation and devastation it wrecks havoc to the skin, causing unsightly skin lesions, will make you take pause. So in this video, we look at what zebriate keratosis is, what causes zebriate keratosis and how to treat it. What is zebriate keratosis? Zebriate keratosis, pronounced as zebriate keratosis, is one of the most common non-cancerous skin growths in older adults. And if you are seeing zebriate keratosis for the first time, the infected skin area usually appears as a brown, black or light tan growth on the face, chest, shoulders or back. The common feature for their growth is a distinct waxy, scaly, slightly elevated appearance they all carry. Subriate keratosis causes. Here are the causes of subriate keratosis among many. 1. Subriate keratosis seem to run in families. Families that have had an experience with subriate keratosis seem to be more susceptible to suffer from this skin infection, though the exact cause of subriate keratosis isn't known. The other common factor for subriate keratosis is how very common and generally increased cases in family members who are old-aged. Is subriate keratosis contagious? No. The lesions of subriate keratosis aren't contagious. In fact, what tends to happen is that families with a historical infection among the members seem to be more susceptible to subriate keratosis. With that said, there is enough evidence to make the case for subriate keratosis being hereditary, as it tends to run in some families more than others where no historical data prove so. How do you remove subriate keratosis? The procedure of removing subriate keratosis is pretty much similar to the way how warts are removed off your skin, except that with subriate it is much quicker. Here's how your doctor removes subriate keratosis with the help of these battle-tested methods, including 1. Freezing with liquid nitrogen, chrysogery. 2. Scraping the skin surface with a special instrument, this process of removing subriate keratosis is also called curatage. 3. Burning with an electric current, this is also known as electrocautery treatment. 4. Vaporizing the growth with a laser, this treatment is also known as ablation. The goal for applying all these procedures is to make sure that the infected skin can be scraped, curated, or shaved off with a special cutting instrument, hence the improved look of the area cosmetically. Can picking off subriate keratosis help? Yes, picking of subriate keratosis helps remove the infected skin, however, there is a process for doing this, which involves with the freezing of the area being treated, all this is usually done for cosmetic reasons and not otherwise. According to Harvard Health publication, about 90% of the time subriate keratosis is frozen off first, before picking off the lesions raised skin on the area of infection. Treatment. Treatment of keratosis is a long-term process that begins with the freezing of the infected skin areas as explained in how subriate keratosis is removed above. This is only done in a controlled area by a competent trained cosmetologist doctor, who will use liquid nitrogen to perform the cryosurgery. With subriate keratosis, cryosurgery is probably the most effective way to completely remove subriate keratosis, long before beginning the skin rehabilitation, with the help of a plethora of over-the-counter subriate keratosis. This form of treating subriate keratosis infection is pretty much standard whether you are treating the skin beginning with scraping the skin surface using a special instrument, curatage, or when burning the subriate keratosis skin with an electric current, electrocautery. Is there an over-the-counter treatment for subriate keratosis? Yes. Escada which is an FDA-approved over-the-counter topical treatment with concentrated hydrogen peroxide 40% solution, can be used to treat subriate keratosis. On the other hand, Tazeratine Cream 0.1% is yet another over-the-counter which is up and coming according to published reports, research shows that when these two creams were used, applying twice daily for up to 16 weeks, caused clinical improvement in subriate keratosis in 7 out of 15 patients. This is what also led the 2017 United States of America's Food and Drug Administration, FDA, to approve, ISCADA, for adults suffering from raised subriate keratosis. Can subriate keratosis go away by itself? No. Subriate keratoses do not go away on their own, however, in the event that skin lesions caused by keratoses become unbearable to look at, there are ways you could use to remove the infected skin, with the help of a qualified cosmetologist doctor. Let's face it, the look of subriate is not pleasing. It's irritating and flat-out unsightly, and that is why anyone with subriate keratoses has to be removed. All in all, there is no harm if subriate keratosis is left untreated throughout their growths, because they are benign, non-cancerous, and do not become cancerous. 10 Best Subria Keratosis Removal Cream 1. Ameliorate Transforming Body Cream 225ml 2. Userin 10 PCT Urea Ointment 100ml 3. G16 Skin Repair Lotion 4. 
Iscata, hydrogen peroxide, topical solution, 40% 5. Briogeo B well tea tree oil. 6. Derm essentials for facial seborrheic dermatitis. 7. Dermasol psoriasis, seborrheic dermatitis and dandruff cream. 8. Fat 5.5 seborrheic dermatitis hair deep conditioning treatment. 9. Gold Cosmetics and Skin Care Zebria Cream What to look for when buying best Zebria treatment creams and wash? Make sure that your choice of Zebria treatment has the following beauty product attributes. 1. Organic. 2. Natural. 3. Paraben-free. 4. Sulfate-free. 5. Hypoallergenic. 7. Unscented. 8. Fragrance-free. And there you have it. Thanks for showing up and if you found this helpful, please share and subscribe. Bye.